stuff, especially when uh, both players on op are on opposite sides. Uh, they'll sort of, he'll do like weird like laser setups and stuff. All right, so we're in it. Ooh, Noah's able to sneak under that first short hop nair and find a shine, but not able to get too much off of it. He gets an air, but bro holding back, able to avoid the shine that followed up. Noah getting a bit of combo here. Can keep it going? Ooh, he gets naired out of it. Bro with a bit of a stock de uh, percent deficit, but they're at the same stock. F tilt. Noah's got him in the corner. He goes for a grab, and Bro's able to nair out. Ooh, Noah gets the grab. He chooses to F throw. Bro has to come up from the ledge. Gets shined into the up air. That's going to take the first stock. Meg Christmas takes his early lead. Bro doesn't want any of that. He gets Meg Christmas in the corner very quickly. And, ooh, these nares. He's really focusing on using that uh, in, in every aspect of the game, both in neutral and in his punishes. Uh, Noah's going to have to watch for that as things go forward. But Meg Christmas gets that raw up smash, or F smash, and he gets things started. Bro able to up B out of that and uh, take the first stock with a strong reversal there. Ooh, Bro looking for a, a play as uh, Mega Christmas comes in. But Mega Christmas smartly lands on the sta on the side platform and punishes the counter. And he's able to complete that edge guard, so all of a sudden it's three stocks to two. No with a commanding uh, full stock lead. Ooh, nice runoff turnaround laser to catch Bro as he comes in trying to punish the landing. Oh, Vro gets that nice platform placement, and yeah, Mega Christmas not able to find the jump. We're back to even stocks to his piece. Vro gets the Randy up smash or F smash to get things started. Mega Christmas able to slide off, but Vro with very careful spacing able to make things really hard for Mega Christmas with those repeated fares. Ooh, Mega Christmas goes high, and Vro calls him out for it. Drops down, gets the Dolphin Slash. That's gonna be the third stock. All of a sudden, Bro with the lead. Let's see if Mega Christmas can even it back up. He gets the dare into the grab, but the up air doesn't connect. Mega Christmas is going to need one more in order to make this stock go away. Oh, Bro catches his drop down laser with a nair. Mega Christmas goes for the crouch, crouch cancel F smash, but Bro's ready after the getup attack, and he immediately shields. Ooh, once again, Mega Christmas calling out that counter. That's the second time. And, ooh, uh. A tournament winner from Bro that Noah's able to punish takes it to last stock. You can see Noah trying to be really careful with his approaches here. Oh, but the getup attack. Bro finds the fair, but it goes the wrong way, and Noah regains center stage. 90%. Noah's definitely at a deficit here. Oh, but can his combo turn things around? Oh, he waits too long for the dare, trying to really get that juicy hit. And he gives Bro just the couple frames he needs to uh, attack out. And now Bro's the one... Uh, in the commanding position. Mega Christmas finds himself in the corner. Great angle to avoid that F smash. Ooh, sloppy ledge dash doesn't give Noah the kind of invincibility frames he needs in order to fight back from the corner there. And Bro's able to take the first game. A last stock scenario on Fountain of Dreams. Uh, I expect we'll see something like Dreamland here. And yeah, uh, Mega Christmas immediately goes there. So. Uh, this generally is considered, you know, Falco's best stage of the matchup. Um, so we'll see if uh, Mega Christmas can take advantage of that here. Uh, early on in this game, Mega Christmas is, uh, seems to be tr really trying to force out the rules from uh, Bro, and he has caught a couple. Catches Bro trying to F smash his approach and is able to punish off of it, but not find too much. Mega Christmas really needs to uh, be confident in when his attacks are going to work and, and really find that stray hit into the big combo. Uh, right now, he's, he's getting a couple little hits that he's not able to follow through on, and uh, it's costing him a lot. Bro finds a big combo with the up airs on the top platform, and uh, Mega Christmas finds himself in a bit of a percent deficit. Now, this is that kind of percentage we were talking about earlier where Mega Christmas, where Bro's going to have a hard time killing Mega Christmas. Mega Christmas is a big fan of uh, daring to punish the Dolphin Slash recovery and then looking for the double dip. In this case, Bro DI'ing hard out to avoid the second uh, dare. Uh, so good stuff to him. Obviously, the, the mix up there is if you are DI'ing out and you get bared, then all of a sudden you're very dead. So um, definitely like a, a bit of a defensive call out there by Bro to, to pick the right option. Oh, and with the getup attack, Bro's able to open something up here on the second stock. Is he going to be able to finish this off? Ooh, with a nice dare, Bro's starting to look like he's cooking. 
all of a sudden Mega Christmas is the one having trouble getting the kill. He's already got Martha 160%. Great straight up, uh, up B in order to avoid that F smash. He gets the F throw. Can he clean up the stock? Oh, but he gets the slow get up. He would have been able to punish that air dodge otherwise. Noah finally able to find the jab into a back air, and that's going to take the first stock. But he's at really high percent. Oh, great spacing on that side B to knock it, to not eat the uh, shield breaker. But the second side B, he's not able to find that mid shorten that he was looking for. And that's going to be uh, his second stock. Bro continues to look for these F smashes in neutral, especially at low percents. I wonder, um, you know, what it is exactly he's looking for there because, um, you know, usually you look for that F smash as like a kill move, uh, but in this case he's using it like especially strong at early percents as a neutral option. So uh, interesting to see there. Ooh, great stall out from Bro. He attacks the edge, um, keep forcing Noah to get off the cor get get off the ledge there. Um, and then he stalls with the side B in order to time his uh, his dolphin slash effectively. Noah resorting to the laser F tilt. I think it's a, a good option here at this percentage. Um, but Vro smartly being ready to shield uh, both hits, both the laser and the F tilt. So, ooh, he gets a shine grab, F throw. Can he clean this up? Ooh, once again, Vro able to force him off the ledge right in time. Merry Christmas going for a a shine bear kind of setup there. Um, and unfortunately, he misses the shine, gets a laser instead, and that's going to be a, an SD. Um, Noah is able to clean it up with an up air. Uh, so it's two stocks to one, but uh, definitely a bit of a mountain to climb here for Noah. I've been really impressed so far when uh, Bro gets Noah in the corner, uh, and Bro with another clean edge guard is able to take a second game. Uh, I've been really impressed with Bro's uh, spacing uh, when he gets Noah in the corner. He's getting these like max range fares where Noah, he's stuck in the corner, so he can't really back off to get a whiff punish going. But then also, like, he's not close enough. Uh, like, Bro's not getting close enough to him where Noah can get, like, a direct punish with either, like, a crouch cancel or a shield. So it's just putting Noah in such a bad spot every time Bro's able to force him into the corner. Okay, here we go back to uh, Dreamland for the start of game three. Ooh, Noah goes for the hard read with that big F smash. But unfortunately, still not high enough percent to get the kill. Bro with some uh, smart DI. Ooh, okay. Uh, Noah goes for the dash attack, um, and then I guess concerned about uh, concerned about some SDI. He doesn't go for the dare, gets the back air instead. And with the Marth Killer, he's able to clean up that stock. So a good start here. That is the first time that counter has been effective in this game. Uh, Noah has been doing a great job of like uh, uh, sharking it out and getting the big punishes for it. But uh, Vro seems to think that it's a, a strong option, and he's able to find his first good usage there. Meg Christmas able to make it back on stage, but still stuck and punished, so... Okay, he is able to make it out, but then he goes for an approaching laser that Vro just nares through, and he's able to clean up the stock. Now it's three stocks apiece. Ooh. Meg Christmas able to punish the whiff there with a grab, but once again, Vro quickly getting back on stage and able to reverse the situation. Meg Christmas... Oh! He jumps back trying to get that clean side B, avoiding the down tilt, but Vro just swings and gets that F smash. That's a quick kill, especially with Noah holding out to get the uh, jump back. Noah finds a big hit here and is able to kind of reverse the situation, give uh, a strong edge guard right back to Vro, so it's two stocks apiece. Oh. Again, I think Vro's really using Nair to great effect right now. Uh, Noah gets caught off stage and with a quick punish, all of a sudden, throws down once, or throws up once again, basically a full stock. Noah goes for a deep dare off stage, but Vro patient all the way down, and he's able to avoid it. Uh, unfortunately, the second time around, Vro's uh, dolphin slash doesn't quite work out for him, and we do end up in a last stock situation. But Vro uses invincibility very cleverly, gets started on that big hit. Let's see what he's got here. Ooh. One of the first power shields we've seen this set, and it comes at a really opportune time for Vro. Um, Mega Chris was trying to fight his way out of the corner with the lasers, and Vro is able to uh, use the power shield to force him back in there. And he finds a dolphin slash out of shield, and that's going to be the stock, the game, and the set. Uh, congratulations to Vro pulling on to winner's finals. Uh, we'll get to see him versus Army here in a little bit. Uh, but um, also really great stuff to uh, Mega Christmas. I think he put up a, a really strong fight, and... Um, 
you know, there were just a couple little things that kind of caught him. I think the, the biggest one, the biggest challenge for him was that Nair. Um, the Vro was able to use it.